Welcome everybody. I am Bones, although today you will notice I'm not wearing my Bones mask. Uh, we're actually washing it, so instead of using my other Bones mask, which got voted out, you all didn't like that one as much, I decided to go with uh, Rainbow Cat. Uh, this is one of the face masks I wear when I'm outside, actually, which is originally how we started the idea for Bones. So. I have a few face masks that I wear because it gets very cold in the state we are in winter. So, um, recently for the holidays, I got five new ones. Uh, this company has a deal five for 15. Um, and uh, this was one of them I couldn't pass up. I just thought it was hilariously dopey. Um, anyways, so this game here we're going to do today is Super Flight. Uh, this was a gift from one of our viewers, uh, so thank you out there, and a good shout out to a taxi. He uh, thought it would be a fun one to do a let's play of. Um, now, from what I understand here, one thing that's kind of neat is that, see, there are maps, and you can create maps, but it's basically like a wingsuit simulator, so we can fly. Oh, God. Okay, so I have arrow keys, and I think that's pretty much, uh, that's pretty much what I do. Oh, sweet Mother Mary. And you get, like, points for doing daredevil stuff like this, um, without actually hitting anything. Now, I am horrible in driving games. Oh. <laughs> that won't be my last crash. That won't be my last crash. Um, I am horrible at... Oh, God. Man, I bit it twice, eh? Let's see if we can... No, we cannot. The taxi has got to be uh, probably cracking up with this right now. Um, but no, I, one thing that I dig is the creators had a really cool... I watched their, like, uh, explanation of the game. And they basically just wanted to make, like, a relaxing game that you can play at your leisure. Um say you like a map. Uh, one thing I think is cool is that you can tell your friends about your map uh, and you can actually go and say you make one you really like. You can like make a map, type in a word, whatever. You know how it works in Minecraft. You can make a seed, right? Um, you can share that so that say you have a map you like, you get saved. Even now, say I like this one's pretty neat here, and it's very, uh, a little foggy, but I like it. So, maps, so I can hit save current map, and that will save that one for me. And then I can replay it. So, uh, there's a lot of replay value in this little game here. Um, I like the procedurally generated areas. Ooh, Jesus. Ooh, God. <laughs> Oh, the tension, guys, the tension. I am horrible with these sorts of uh, driving games, but I'm not going to lie. This one makes me feel all daredevil -y and uh, it, it's pretty cool, actually. Um, I think what's cool about it, too, is the character model here is so well... I bet it. So well done while remaining simplistic that... Uh, I don't know, man. I, I just, uh, it's fun. It's hard to really describe because you really don't, you know, you're not killing monsters. You don't have a huge goal like that. You're just flying around. But, uh, I gotta say, it's uh, pretty groovy. I'm definitely digging it. Um, now, before all of you say, well, why don't you switch to the cat mask? Because I know one of you out there, you cat fans are going to suggest it, uh, then I would probably have to change the name of my whole channel. So this might be, once in a while, maybe I'll do some different other face masks. I have some other cool ones. Uh, we have a cowboy one and a few other ones that I think are pretty funny. Um, that maybe I'll throw on for different Let's Plays and games to surprise you guys sometimes. So you never know. Um, now, the Muppet content, or the puppet content, I should say, not the M-word, not the M-word, the puppet content, uh, I should say, we are, uh, we got a lot of new stuff coming up, so don't worry about that. I know some of you are like, where is it? 
Um, it's a little harder to do those sometimes. Sometimes not. It just depends. We have a... Uh, oh, how you like that, eh? Little Big Dipper, Little Dipper direction there. I call this one the Sea Manatee. Not, not really. I don't know what the hell I call it, but we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and say see Oh, this is a pretty cool place here. Uh, I like this. It's got like some bismuth looking. Oh, oh, oh Sweet Mary, your dude can drop like the stock prices here. That's it's crazy. Oh, I forgot. He is in a wingsuit. He is riding the current of air. So. Extreme drops mean extreme whips. Oh my god, this is craziness. Um, but now, I uh, thought I would dig this and uh, it, correct. This is actually a uh, fun one. Um, anyways, so yeah, we uh, we have a few things coming up for that. We were originally going to do a like a night before Christmas retelling, but uh, we have something much better in mind coming up today or maybe even tomorrow. Oh, that is awesome. This one here, I'm going gonna to say this one too, just because I really, really dig the look of this one. Um, blue is my favorite color, actually, not green, but I do like the kind of emerald looking uh, Spires here. I don't. They're just very aesthetically pleasing. Man, I am fighting it bad. Um, I'm curious to know. What do you? What do you guys think you get? Get <laughs> getting this? I swear to God, I'm sober. That's that's a sad part. I wish I could say to you all, "Oh, I'm drunk" or something, but no. I do all my let's plays sober. Um. And a little PSA, don't drink and drive out there, people. Or apparently don't drink in a wingsuit either, because if you think I'm bad, try find one of these portals to get a new map. Okay, so... Oh, that's right, I saw that on the, uh, on the little trailer there. Um, I thought that was kind of... cool that the devs pointed out stuff like that. No! Oh my god, what am I doing? God, I'm like Gumby. My little flappy arms here just aren't going the ways I want them to. We're gonna go right into that portal down there. See it? Let's see if we can hit the portal, guys. Can we do it? Can we do it? Can we hit the portal? We hit the portal! We portal! Sweet. Look at this crazy place, eh? I'm not really nutting any good points here because I'm not doing some daredevil stuff. We're gonna try to drop straight down through here. Oh my god! That was craziness. Um... Jeez, oh, oh Pete. Like, you can buzz this and still get some points. Let's, let's be honest here, that's kind of a wimpy way for me to get points. Um, but, uh, I'm a bit of a chicken with this one right now, because... Well, you've seen my driving. You would be too if you sucked. As bad as I do at driving. Um, yeah, I'm telling you now, somebody asked me if I do a uh, Watch Dogs thing, and maybe I will, I own part two. Um, although it won't be like story missions and all that, it'll probably be just me causing mischief and goofing it around, because uh, I enjoy a good bit of mischief. Um, anyways, so this game, Super Flight, lives up to the name, easily. It's very easy to control, if you notice, I'm using arrow keys. I don't know if I can use the live stick keys. Let's try it. I can use the live stick keys. Maybe I'm meant to use the live stick keys. And that's, maybe that's why I'm doing so poorly here is that I'm not using the live stick keys. I don't know. Uh, so we're gonna try that. Oh my god. Holy cow. Uh, I do notice that he gets lower and lower and lower as you maintain the same map. So I think. Actually, your goal is to keep zooming on through these maps and not spend forever on one lest you fall to your doom, maybe? I don't know. Um, that's... that's what it's looking like. Because I seem to keep getting lower and lower on 
Uh, that is a pretty, uh, kind of a Santa Fe Southwest feeling, isn't it? Very pretty. Reminds me of, like, uh, the Arizona desert. More. Um, I have not been there, actually, but, uh, I've seen a lot of pictures. It's a place that I used to want to go quite a bit until we saw this, uh, Coyote Peterson thing recently, where he got bit by something, and I believe it was in the Arizona desert, and it was a scorpion, and, or a scorpion, it was a giant millipede. Uh, Bones here does not have many fears, but I will say flat out, I do not like giant centipedes, millipedes, mm -mm. Um, and this comes from somebody I used to keep for about five tarantulas um, of different species. Um, if you want to know more about that, drop me a thing in the comments. Um, may I will respond. If you notice, I respond to every comment I get. Um, so does Gary and Shelly, they respond to them, so when you see their videos, Drop them a comment, even if it's just a hello or a like or, you know, something. Oh my god, I think this is probably the best I've done in this game, but I feel like I'm not... Jesus H. Christ. They're doubling it up enough. I will say one thing that is great fun about this game, though, is this thing here, this feeling of, like... The diving and all that, it really does feel like you're getting that momentum and speed. So the developers did a great job with that. Uh, it, it definitely has some... It definitely has some... Oh, can I bet it? Look at my rank at a high score. I am abysmal at best, guys. Uh, I'm going to do a little more of this one now, because this one's pretty fun. Um, and actually, uh, I'm curious, when I bite it next, we're going to try making a world. Because I feel like I'm not doing good justice to this puppy, unless I explore more of the features, don't you guys think so? So, uh, is there, is there, are there brakes? There are no brakes. There is fast and faster. Um, I'm trying different control schemes here. You know, let's let's make sure I'm using everything I can. Um, I don't know what Zen mode is. I feel like that's probably cheating now, so I don't want to do that. Um, let's create a map, eh? Let's create. Bones and Gary, the map. And we're gonna play. Woo! I made a really weird place. Oh my god. I can't even. <laughs> oh, I'm like a friggin' drunken toddler in this. What is wrong with me? Uh, the, uh, you guys have got to be dying laughing. I know I am horrible at this, man. Holy cow. Well, we know if I had to survive in a wingsuit, I would die. Very quickly. Um, which is ironic, actually, because we had a paratrooper in my family. Uh, Rick, seriously. Uh, one of my relatives was a paratrooper, so... How the hell they got good at that, and I suck at this. I mean, obviously it's different, this is a game, but still, that's, that's just craziness. Look at these little portals, let's try to land one of these fuckers. Little purple and pink monster down here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at this one. That's like the rainbow just dry humped that map. We're gonna save this puppy. Save current map. Bading. You know, it's uh, I do like that though. I like that you can just kind of like yank the map that you like um, to replay whenever you want. That's a lot of fun. Now, I believe I'm right. Um, if any of you want to comment who have more experience with this game, let me know. Am I right that the longer you stay in one map, the less you start to be able to climb back up, or am I just sucking at this? Um, I would not be surprised to find that I am in fact just sucking with that. How did I hit my effing head like that? That was insanity. 
I should actually subtitle this in the beginning, The Failing. Because, holy cow, oh my god, it's like getting your ass kicked by a bunch of Play-Doh. That whole mountain looked like, uh, you know what it reminds me of is when you see people who use, like, clay, like, sculpty clay, and they mix all the colors together and then you cut into that. That's what this mountainside reminds me of. Very colorful, actually, so... Pretty cool, but I gotta say, for... I'm not feeling tension or anything, you know? This is actually a really mellow... Fun game. I mean, you see how many times I've bit it, and I'm still flying, you know? Um, they really do do a good job of making you feel... Um... I don't know, it's kind of relaxed, but I think the other thing I like about it is this is definitely a just pick up and play game. You know, you don't need a huge tutorial, you don't need um, an excuse to play it really. You just had a long day, you want to do something simple and kill a few minutes, or you know, you want to uh, play something you can just chill out and relax. Um, there are certainly worse games out there than picking up a copy of this puppy, I'll tell you that. This one, um, again, as you can see, you know, um, and if you guys want to try flying the map, uh, go to Create Map and put in Bones and Gary and see how well you do on our map, and if you guys get this game, link us to your videos. We'd like to see how you guys do on the Bones and Gary map, I'm curious. I'm sure any of you will do better than me. Um, Gary doesn't do great with Let's Plays because, well, he's a puppet, so he has, uh, soft appendages, but, uh, he, he's surprised me a few times. Um, he is pretty good in Carmageddon, so maybe we can get him to do some Carmageddon sometime. Gary's good at racing. Um, we have a lost episode of this show as well, actually. Um, our super fans will probably know about it because it was up for 10 minutes and then gone. And the reason it was gone is because the quality of the video, frankly, was not up to par with any Let's Play I would ever make anybody watch, and I just thought it was ridiculous to make you all watch it. Um, so we removed it, but it was a teaser and adventure one. Um, and the sound quality was horrible, uh, the lighting was so bad, it looked like it was shot with the potatoes, so that one may come back. Uh, we may redo that one. Um, oh. And I've been asked before, and I can neither confirm nor deny, am I the only person who does bones? I will say this, there is one video I, I, your regular bones, have not bones. See if you can pick it out, comment uh, in the comments and tell me which one you think it is. Um, and I will tell you all if you're right or wrong. Um, if you ever get to be a big enough channel, oh I'm so saving this one, this looks awesome. It's got some cool blues in there. Um, you know what it is in a way? This game reminds me uh, a little bit of something that would have came out, I think, in the 80s. Uh, if you were around in the 80s and, and the 90s, you remember games like... Uh, God, what was like one of the first multiplayer ones, I think? It was Spectre. And I think it was actually called Spectre VR, even though it wasn't VR. And you got these hex uh, polygonal uh, tanks, right? And you all would go and fight in them on this battlefield. It was like a grid. Um, or what about Elite? You know, the original Elite and all those. I mean, those are a lot of... So I feel like they've done some gorgeous things here. The architecture. This is a pretty one, too, here. I, I might say... I feel like I like one that's got a little more red with the orange, though. Um... But, again, what I'm really digging about this is, you can hear how mellow I sound. Um, which is great after that last playthrough. Sweet lord. Um, yeah, Layers of Fear got me pretty good there, I'm not gonna lie. I genuinely jumped. Um, if you watch that video in the Let's Plays, you'll see I genuinely jumped. 
uh, with, you know, not over-exaggeration, not, you know, no stupid shit, none of that, but, uh, it had some good moments, because the tension was palpable, you know. Um, I like a, a movie, some of you are going to hate me for saying I like it, but I like a movie called House of the Devil. Um, it's a sort of homage to old movies like Rosemary's Baby, but they used to call slow burn horror, horror that would build tension. Um, now I think too much horror results in jump cuts and stuff like that, and this did not. Um, but all throughout that movie there was this weird underlying sense of dread, and I feel like Layers of Fear did that. Um, this game here is the complete opposite of horror games. This is quite peaceful. Um, there's a little, like, uh, nervousness, you know, but it's kind of like fun nervousness, you know? It's more like being... It's more like when you were a kid and you played tag. And you were like, oh shit, I'm gonna be it, I'm gonna be it, I'm gonna be it. And you knew your ass was gonna be it. You were eventually gonna be it, because there was always that one motherfucker that was like ten times faster than every other kid in the neighborhood. You know who you are out there, Bobby. Um, but, yeah, so I mean, there... But it's more like that fun, like, oh god, oh god, what's gonna happen? And then you fly up again. So it's not bad, you know? Um, and even if you're on the fence about it, I would say it's an affordable game. Go check out, after the Let's Play, if you guys want, check out the trailer for it, you know? Oh, God. I really thought I was going to be able to nail that one. Why, I don't know, because you've seen my past flying experience. Um, oh, God! Oh, I almost swore so bad there. Um, that was slightly frustrating, I'm not going to lie, I really thought I had that there, uh, at the end. So basically, the gist of it is, the closer you get to a surface, uh, without hitting it, the more points you get. So obviously doing super daredevil stunts, like being a crazy head, uh, not you even more points. Oh, that's awesome. Oh god. <laughs> My problem is I just suck with steering in games. Uh, uh, honestly, like, all the Grand Theft Autos, all that, it's become a running joke around here. Seriously, guys. Uh, and among all my friends, among all the people who do Let's Plays uh, with us who contribute, uh, they will sit around and watch me drive in games, and I usually quickly gather a whole group of people who will sit and watch me just to see how how badly I can mess up in a driving game. Um, it is true. So a wingsuit game might actually help my driving experience. So this might be a busting in disguise, but uh, I'll probably get my ass kicked in this too, so we'll see. Um, I have been, but I haven't really cared. It's, it's, uh, I don't know, man. Like I said, for lack of a better term, this is just sort of fun exploring things. Are these cool portals that seem to take you to totally different kinds of structures, I believe is what they do here. So if it's believable, and why would, why not, um, we will say that the lands are sort of like... So say I go forward a certain amount until it gets cloudy and it switches lands. I'm still in this realm. The portal will take me to the next realm, etc, etc. Um, I wonder if the air velocity, velocity, air velocity, because that's a thing, air velocity is different in any of these. Um, that would be very interesting to know. Ironically, in real life, I've never been afraid of the idea of skydiving. It's something that I actually want to do. So, uh... Yeah, I don't know, it just never bothered me. In this one, though, uh, the idea of whaling one of these friggin' mountains is frightening, I think, just because... And again, not horror frightening, you know, not like horror game frightening, not jump scare frightening, just disheartening, you say, and that's a better term for it. Because, you know, 
you start to rack up a little score, you see how long you can go and you, uh, know what you can do. Well, one thing I like too is if you notice, I'm not required to go all crazy and do daredevil stuff. I can, or I can take it. Man, I suck at this. A little easy, um, as I did not dare. I love how I say I'm gonna take it easy, and then I'm like, wham, and then just bite it. Um, but you know, I mean, you can kind of play this how you want, which is nice too. You know, you just want to float around and fly and explore stuff and enjoy that you can. So, uh, neat little game, that's for sure. The developers definitely, um, holy cow. Now this is what I'm talking about, guys, about another one to save. Uh, I, I love uh, orange and blue together, not gonna lie. Blue and orange are my two favorite colors. They are. Um, you haven't guessed, obviously Halloween is, a, is my favorite time of year. Um, absolutely. Even when I was a child, I absolutely loved Halloween. Don't know why. Just always have. Always. I think it was the creativity, and at a time when everybody was deathly afraid of monsters, my thing was, why? Monsters are cool. So I wasn't afraid of them. Uh, and I liked to be spooked a little, you know? I liked the spooky music and the, like, do you guys remember, like, the old records? I'm really showing my age here, records. But, uh, they had all these cool records that would come out every year, and it'd be like, night in a graveyard and it was you know they'd be these horribly cheesy in-house sound studio productions from like uh i don't know just old studios that either had time off from cutting crappy band solo albums and i don't know who did them really i'm just uh showing out my own ideas which are probably not at all true um I know the mouse himself even did a few. That's true, actually. He did. Um, there were two. Um, but anyways, so that stuff I used to dig. Uh, so anyways, this here has been Super Flight. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, I've certainly enjoyed playing it. Again, thank you, a taxi. Very cool of you. This was a gift. Uh, and uh, good job, devs. A lot, of, a lot of fun. It's relaxing. I could see playing this anytime. You could even play this after a game that's really annoyed you. You know what I mean? After you've gotten... If there's a game with a mission and you're like, oh, screw this. This is a good one to play then, I think. To kind of wind yourself back down before you accidentally go and break something important. Because nobody wants that. Um, but anyways, I have been Bones uh, today. Catmandu. Meow. Look, go with me. It's the only joke I had, guys. Um, drop your comments in the comment box. Make sure to like and subscribe. Tell your friends about us. We're a slow channel. When it comes to growth, we'd like to speed that up a little. So all you followers out there, make sure you're telling people about us. We do appreciate it. Uh, the bigger we get, the more we can do, you know? Uh, we have all sorts of stuff that we'd love to show you guys, so uh, we just don't got the budget for it yet, but down the road, maybe. We'll see. We'll see what we can do. Um, I'm sure you guys would like to see us do some other things, and uh, we have um, quite a few ideas down the road, I'll say that. So, Bones here. Thank you guys very much, as always. I really enjoyed this. I enjoy uh, our time together. Uh, for me, this is fun because if you guys are entertained, if I cheer your day up a little, then that's totally what I want. You know, there's enough BS in the world. I hope you guys just get to relax and enjoy the Let's Plays. And hopefully they amuse you or make you laugh or, you know, I think they don't bore you. I don't want that. So, if they get boring, let me know, like, hey, you're boring me. And I'll be like, sorry, and I'll fix it somehow. Anyways, uh, so yes, as I was saying before I was rambling, 
subscribe, like, comment, make sure you comment, and we'll, uh, we'll chat back at you. All right. Thank you guys very much. You guys have a great day.